Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to talk about the new features of Cartoon Animator 5 Smart Content Manager. This new and improved content management system allows you to browse, manage, and download your content all in the same place, in addition to aggregating assets in order to make them easily accessible amongst multiple users in a workgroup at their own workstations. When you first start up CTA 5, you'll be prompted to hit Start to open up the Content Manager, which will then proceed to sync to your account and prompt you to download the free resources content pack into the free resources folder. These are the basic actor and animation packs, and you'll also see a demo project and scene and prop pack. If the thumbnail is grayed out with a little green cloud icon on the top right, it means that you own the content but you haven't downloaded it yet. You can right click and select install, or simply double click on the thumbnail. An easy way to access either the content store or marketplace is from the main drop down menu in the content manager at the top right. You can download all sorts of interesting and fabulous content here for use in any of your projects. Let's look briefly at display mode. If we go into the actor pack, we can see a number of content item thumbnails. You can click and toggle different thumbnail views or else simply use the Control-1 hotkey. Also very important is that if you right click on any asset thumbnail, you can select Find File to find where the raw file for that asset is stored. You can also toggle the Show Subfolder Items checkbox. If you have this disabled, you'll only be able to see the subfolder structure that separates everything by type until you go into the Last Child folder. You can also quickly access folders via the navigation bar at the top, just like in Windows Explorer. Selecting Show Sub Items again will show all of the items in your pack under the main folder despite the different file categories. Next, let's take a quick look at the main category bar. In the Pack tab, all items will be organized into packs, so when you select a category, it will show the relevant pack thumbnails. For example, the Demo Project pack includes some demo projects so we can see it in the project category. The actor pack is displayed under both the actor and accessory categories as it contains more than one type of content. We can also use the category bar at the top to find content. These all correspond to the categories listed below, and when you open a pack, you'll be able to see that the subcategories also get highlighted up on the top as well like this actor pack that contains an additional 5 subcategories. Beside the pack tab is the item tab, which allows you to view content by item instead of by pack. In item view, you can navigate through all sorts of content folders and you'll see individual assets regardless of their format. Item view is generally used when you want to create your own categories and folders to arrange things your own way. In the animation category, you'll see preview GIFs for the thumbnails by default, which you can turn off from the option in the drop down menu. With this deselected, the GIF will only preview when you hover the mouse over the thumbnail. Probably one of the most useful new features with the Content Manager in Cartoon Animator 5 is the ability to search your content in the search field at the top. You can also sort your content according to different parameters, including file name, author, tag, and folder name. You can apply various filters and organize the results in a number of ways from the drop down menu below the search field. Another cool little tip is that you can hover your mouse over a blank space in the content manager and type in any letter from A to Z to jump to content that begins with that name, similar to Windows Explorer. CTA 5 thumbnails will also contain some small icons that provide a bit more detail about the content type. Here you can see that this one thumbnail has a down arrow while the one beside it has an arrow facing left. These correspond to the direction the character is facing, and you can see the respective examples in the viewport. A really useful feature is the Filter by Basic Type checkbox. If we enable that and select our character in the viewport, the Content Manager will automatically filter and display only content relevant to that character. For example, if you have a side-facing character selected, it will only show side-facing animations. The same goes for front-facing characters and animals as well. 
The content manager in CTA 5 is also context dependent, meaning it will be slightly different in stage mode versus composer mode. Notice that in this particular pack, not all of the included content can be applied in stage mode, which we're in now. If there are additional assets in the pack that are not showing up in your current mode, you'll see a small notification in the content manager mentioning this. Generally stage mode is used to apply characters to our scene and animate them, while composer mode is used for actor and prop customization. If we select this character and enter into composer mode, you'll see that the content manager categories will change. There are now categories for actor, head, body, and accessory. There are also different subcategories for different components, as you can see here for heads as well. These include various facial features that can be combined in a ton of different ways. Okay, finally, let's take a quick look at how you can capture and save your content thumbnails. Here I can click on the Save button in the Content Manager with my actor selected, and a prompt will come up, asking me to define the name and content type. In this case, we're defining our character as an actor, after which we'll find it in the Custom tab. If we want to recapture the thumbnail, what we can do is reposition our camera to get a different perspective, then simply right click on the thumbnail and choose Capture Thumbnail. You'll see the original will be replaced. That's about it for this video guys, thanks for watching and be sure to check out our Cartoon Animator 5 tutorials on our Reillusion Courses page. I'll see you in the next video.